Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create new animals for Smart AI. So I've got a wolf that I've uh, gotten from the marketplace, it's a free one, um, you can check out. Um, and I'm going to be using this for mine, but this will work for any um, animal you might have. Um, so we're going to start off, we're going to go to your animal skeleton. So for me that's this wolf skeleton, just bring it over. And we're going to do a little trick to um, duplicate our animation blueprint. So to do that, I'm going to go to Retarget Manager, select the humanoid rig. Then I'm going to go and uh, find in our Smart AI folder, we're going to go to Meshes, Skeletal, and then uh, Deer. And we're going to go to Retarget Manager. And again, we're going to select the humanoid rig. And then we'll save both of these uh, skeletons. Next, we'll go to our Smart AI animations, um, to our Deer Anim BP, and we'll right click it. It might take a moment for the uh, option menu to show up here. And once that's come up, we'll go to Retarget, and we'll select Duplicate Anim blueprints and retarget and we'll select our wolf and hit retarget so that's taken us to our content folder which is where our um, new wolf anim is, is. Um, you can see it's created a bunch of animations we don't need these because we're not actually retargeting so we'll just delete these out but we want to leave our new uh, deer anim bp so i'm just going to force delete these that's fine and then we're going to rename this to our Wolf uh, and MVP. Next, there's going to be a couple of things we want to change in here, so we're going to open it up. And we're going to have an error to start off with. We'll just click this uh, underlined part to go to the error. And we're just going to delete these nodes out here and reconnect this up like that. This is in the jog um, locomotion state if you can't find the error. Um, but we'll go back to our event graph now. There's a couple of other things I'm going to remove. Um, this part here, we'll just highlight it and delete it. And connect this up. If that part isn't up there, if I've moved it in a future update, it will probably be between the speed and this is valid now, just in case I move that in the future. Um, so that should be okay. These are If these have errors, don't worry. Once you recompile, the error will go. Um, next we go to our uh, back to our showcase <coughs> and we're going to go to our uh, wolf skeleton so for me that's in here and we can close our retarget manager now and we're going to find our head socket or sorry our head bone and I'm going to right click it and add a socket and I'm going to call this melee trace underscore socket like that and I'm just going to move this into position about at his mouth, say about here. And I'm going to rotate it um, in 90 degrees in the uh, Z. So you can see there. Um, and this socket basically is what, um, when our wolf does a melee attack, that's where our trace will be done to see if he's hit anyone. So uh, now we've got that set up, we can save that. Next, we're going to go back to our showcase and uh, in our wolf folder or wherever you like, we can right click and go to animation and we're going to create a new blend space. And this is going to be based on our wolf skeleton. And I'm just going to call this BS underscore wolf underscore uh, walk. And we'll open that up. Um, I'm going to make this smaller so we can still use our. Um, content browser. This is a lot easier if you have multiple screens, um, but we'll make it like this. And the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need our wolf's uh, walk forward animation. So for me that's in our wolf animations and I'm just going to search for walk. And I've got my uh, wolf walk animation here. I'm just going to drag it in and drop it up the top and again up the bottom here to the left and to the right and to the center. Now, um, for those of you that have used blend spaces, this isn't typically how they're used. 
normally it's you have um, a direction and a speed but because this is an animal um, and I only have basic animations so um, I'm just saying it up this way um, but if you have more complex animations you can sort of expand this if you like um, but if you can see if I hold shift and I mouse over you can see he's always walking forward so that's about what we want so we can save that now and we're actually going to clear the search now go back to our wolf folder and we'll duplicate the blend space we just made and I'm going to call this one run and I'll open that one up and I'll try and make it smaller again here like that and I'm going to go back to my animations and I'm going to find the run forward animation so for me that's wolf run here and we're going to do exactly the same thing we'll just drag it over the top the bottom left and right and our center as well so you can see he's doing his run animation now um, so that's our blend spaces done next we're going to set up our attack animations so for me uh, it's called bite I believe yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this wolf bite I'm gonna go up to create create anim montage so we've got our new montage here now and I'm gonna pause the animation and one thing we need to do is we need to change the slot so for this attack I'm gonna use the upper body slot um, if your animation is playing it will freeze don't worry about that it's fine um, next we're going to right click on our notifies and we're going to um, go add notify new notify we're going to call this start melee detect like that and this is basically where the trace starts activating so you want it to be when your attack kind of starts so for me it'll be about here so you can drag it to that location and then uh, we want one for the end as well so I'll do mine about here we'll right click add notify new notify we'll call this end uh, melee detect like that so that's our um, attack animation set up now so we can save that next we're going to go back to our wolf uh, animation blueprint um, if you don't know where that is it's in your content folder and it's uh, right here so we can open this up now there's a few things that we need to change in our anim graph so we have these two nodes here that uh, blend animations together using um, a bone name but we haven't changed the bone name to our wolf's bones yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, get our skeleton here for our wolf I'm gonna try and make this a bit easier to see like that and then we'll jump into our wolf and MVP. So we've got our skeleton here. And I'll actually move this over here like that. Now I'm going to select the top one. And we want to click this layer setup, then go through these drop downs. And you can see that the um, current name is neck base. So I want to find the equivalent of neck base. So for me, it's a uh, wolf underscore dash neck. So I'm just going to enter that in here. The, the bone name must be exact as well so if there's capital letters, underscores, anything like that it has to be the exact name and then our next one is down here and so this is set as head so for me that's wolf underscore dash head like that and then we can compile and we can close out our skeleton over here as well and we can go over to our event graph and in here there are a activate melee detect and a deactivate melee detect you want to delete these two nodes and we're going to recreate them after we compile after we've deleted those so we want to do start melee and you'll see uh, it came up there so start melee detect and end melee detect like that. Once that's done you can compile and save. Next we're going to go to our showcase again and we're going to go smart AI, blueprints, AI, AI characters, examples and then animals. 
and I'm going to start with just a duplicate of our deer so I'll duplicate that and I'm going to call this uh, AI Wolf Aggressive and we'll open that up and in here we'll go to our viewport we'll select our deer um, we'll delete the antlers because our wolf doesn't need uh, antlers and we can select our deer and we can change our skeletal mesh to our wolf you might want to move him a little bit because the deer is a lot bigger so we'll try and center him a bit so we can take off the lock as well if we need to so he's a bit more centered and we can compile that next we need to change things in the AI component so in here um, we're going to search we'll hide the do not edit category because we do not need to edit that and we'll find our AI animations and we'll start with the default animations I do have a video uh, on these settings so I won't go into too much detail here but these are essentially our animations for each behavior um, if the tick box is on so for example flea animations it means when he's in flea he'll use these animations if the tick box is off say for uh, search um, it means he'll only use default animations even if he's in the search um, and if you wanted him to use a search you would tick search anims and then you'd use search anims when he's searching so uh, in here you can see we've got our deer animations still set up so uh, I'm going to replace these so I've got an idle for my wolf so I'm going to search idle and wolf and I'm going to use my idle breathe animation and we've got our walk and I'll set this to our wolf uh, walk like that and then a cool thing we can do is we can hide those like that and we can copy and we can paste these into each behavior as we go down the list um, even if you're not planning to use separate animations for separate behaviors I recommend you do this just um, so you know it's done for later on um, so it just takes a second just pasting them into each behavior like this and I'm going to one tick use melee combat bat stance uh, for our wolf um, you probably want to do the same as well for yours um, and then next I'm going to go to our melee animations and I'm actually going to change our walk to the uh, wolf run option instead because when he goes into his melee attack behavior I want him to run after my player so I'm going to change that and you can see I've got our melee attack animations enabled so he will use those animations when he's in that attack Something you might want to keep in mind is um, your animations might not ma match the default movement speeds, so it might look a bit weird. If you want to change movement speeds, you can just search for movement, and then we've got our movement speeds for every single uh, behavior here. So you can increase it, decrease it, whatever you need to do to match your animation. Next, we're going to go for our melee um, animations, so we'll hide. Uh, that AI animations and you can see down here in my melee animations array I've got two attacks for my deer now I only have one attack animation for my wolf um, so I'm going to actually delete this one in the bottom um, so I've only got one now and I'm going to change that to uh, bite I think that one's called yeah wolf bite and then down here you can see we've got enable melee detection and it's got a socket name now this is the socket on our wolf skeleton that the trace is going to be done by or going to be where the trace is going to be located um, so we need to make sure we get the exact name from our wolf skeleton um, for that and we'll double check it because I've forgotten um, we'll just go to our wolf skeleton quickly and we can see it's there if I double click it I can just copy the name and we'll go back to our wolf uh, blueprint and we can paste that in like that so now uh, when we melee attack he'll play this animation and it will trace from this socket if you have more than one melee animation you can just click the plus and it will expand this annoyingly but click the plus and we've got another one here um, so he'll randomize between the two um, and you can set the um, animation and then you can add a new um, that's really annoying. You can add a new melee slot and paste in your socket name there 
But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use the uh, one melee animation. So we're all done in here, so we can compile and save this now. One last thing in here, um, if you want to find out more about the melee animations and the settings that are um, in here, I do have a video, a separate video, going through all the settings and how they work and what they do. So uh, if you want to find out more, you should check that out. So there's one last thing we have to do in our wolf um, animation blueprint. So we're going to open that up and we're going to go to our smart AI anims one. And in here, we're going to set our idle to our idle animation. Uh, I think mine's breathe, yeah, breathe. And then walk will be walk. Um, wolf walk. And then we'll do the same for our smart anims too as well. So we'll do idle. And I should breathe. There we go. And walk will be uh, walk like that. So we've got our animation playing now in here. This is mainly just for previewing, um, but it's quite useful to have it set up. So we can compile that now. So once that's done, I did miss out one last thing in our Wolf uh, AI character blueprint. So with the mesh selected, you do need to go ahead and set an anim class. So we're just going to click the drop down, we can use our Wolf anim, and see our animations playing now. So we can compile and save that. So now with all of that done, we can go into our showcase, drag in our wolf here. I'm going to rotate him so he faces my character. Hit play. Now he's seen us, he's attacking us, and it's all working as it should do. Um, so there's one last thing I was going to show you guys. Um, you may have specific death animations for your, uh, your character. Um, so to do that, I'll just go back to our wolf. Select our AI component, and if you search for death, you can see we've got an array where you can set death, death animations. Um, keep in mind, if ragdoll on death is true or enabled, um, these animations won't be used. But if you want to use them, you can just untick that. You can set your death animations here, and uh, that will all work. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you found this useful, and uh, thank you for watching.